Welcome to our very first ever Vanessa and Melissa Christmas special. This is so exciting. This is the first time you've done this kind of a show. And we actually have a live audience with us today, which is very exciting. We are so excited. But before we get into our show today, we also have our makeup artist, Lorian Valt from Two Chicks and Some Lipstick, and some fabulous moms yes. who came with no makeup today. And, they and they're stunning without their makeup. Yes. And they are going to get the five-minute mom makeover. So we're sending them off to have their makeup done in five minutes. And they're going to come back and talk to us because we think as moms, Sometimes we lose a little focus on the makeup. We do, and we don't have a lot of time, right? Yes. So we need to keep our routines really quick and efficient, and that's what we're going to learn today with a five-minute face. Yes. So thank you so much, ladies. You guys go have fun. Go get beautiful. Yeah. Well, not, not Enjoy. Beautiful, Enjoy that. Enjoy. Okay. So along with the holidays, you know, Melissa and I, everybody knows if you follow us on social media, we're pretty much Christmas obsessed. And she started her decorations like November, November 15th. 15th. I'm a December 1 person, but the, the thing is we love Christmas. But also along with the holidays, there can be some stress, right? Yes. You know, like maybe you have to family see members? some family members you're not like super close with or you don't have the best relationship with. But you want it to be amicable and you want it to be fun and have a good time. Yeah. And we also want to keep the romance going with our partners, right? You really right? want a little, you know. It helps with the other stuff, Okay, right? yeah, like if you're, you know, still, you <laughs> She's know. like, sex, hello. Okay, whatever, you know what I mean. She's the vulgar one. Anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so introducing our next guest. Yeah, so that's why we have with us today Kelly McDonald-Arnold, who's our sexologist. Come on Yay. up. And we have Melissa Reed, who's our family therapist. Hi guys. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having us. We feel like these two subjects are extremely important over the holidays. We agree. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that everyone of us can vouch here that things can get a little bit stressful over the holidays. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. if they're stressful just within our family dynamic, imagine your relationship dynamic. And we want to keep both of those happy. Absolutely. So we're, we're going to get some <laughs> great tips from you two ladies on how to keep those two areas balanced and happy over the holidays. So let's talk sex first. Like mm -hmm. Told you she's gonna go there. Right okay, now. so okay, so let's start. Um, so we want to we want to get some good tips on how to keep that romance alive with our partner. Like, where would you start, really? Making time to connect. So it's a time of holidays where you're always giving, 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 giving yeah. to everyone else, rushing around. So plan some time to connect and be intimate. And the best time to do it is actually before you attend holiday functions. Okay. Well, you still look good and you're not drunk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm you're not so full. I yeah. totally agree with that. But I think also before you put your makeup on in your outfit, because it's really annoying when they come up to you after you're like done and you're like, really? Like, I'm already ready. Right? You're going to mess them yeah, up. Yeah. Like, make sure you let your partner know that you like it before you're done, right? Because that yeah. could be an issue. Unless you want to be all about that. It's all about that. It's totally oh. up to you. Yeah. Well, we Get in the super yeah. later. Okay. There you Spend so much time you have. That's true. That's yeah. true. So what happens if you are, say, like myself, and you have two kids, well, three kids, mm -hmm. a baby, you're always late, because mm -hmm. I'm perpetually running <laughs> at a time. And everybody I'm else who else is always late to every single thing. Right. Yeah. So, like, time is the issue. And, right. like, what other tips do you, would you suggest to, like, get around this? Exactly. So any time you have, like, a few minutes here and there, if one's in the shower, if you can join each other. Um, Invest in your you're buying presents for everyone else. Not why not buy presents for your relationship? So maybe mm. not, some nice sheets, some lingerie, um, just scheduling it. So if you have family members, if you have an older child that can watch them just while you're in the other room, yes. um, don't be afraid to close the door. It's you know if there's a lock on it, use it. Mm -hmm. Play some music. They can always knock on the door. The lock um, is key. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But <laughs> so she goes into the bathroom conversation. Yeah. <laughs> like, the bathroom's a great spot because there are locks on the door. I don't know. I have kids who will get into anything, so locks are key. Yeah. 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 And by spending that time to connect, it helps you to de-stress. And yeah. so when you're attending holiday functions where maybe family can make things a little bit more stressful or pull you in different directions or bring up old patterns that you work so hard to break, you can enter these parties or family events feeling connected and having that little secret between the two of you yeah, that you, right. you, you went in as a team. Yeah. Let's go there. Let's go to what it's mm -hmm. like then to walk into those situations with your partner and the <coughs> stress that can bring. What's you know a good way to walk into some situations if you know there might be some tension? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the first things I suggest to people is practice self-awareness. Who or what is an activating event or person for you? Yeah. Right. And do some work around that before you go, mm -hmm. right? Talking with your partner about those situations or a really close friend if you know, it's too close to your partner's heart, yeah. um, in-laws. Sometimes it's right? to a friend. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So that you can, you can recognize what is it uh, or who is it that's activating for you. Yes. The what, next, oh, sorry. Yeah. No. What happens if you find yourself in that position, though, right? Like you're with yeah. the in-law that's driving you crazy. You're feeling the tears come on or the heat. Like, what do you do there? Like, what's the plan there? Yeah, have an escape plan. 
right? <laughs> no, absolutely. Oh, I yeah. Tell, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. yeah, I tell yeah. everybody that, you know, events can be so much easier if you have a plan beforehand. It's amazing what you can tolerate. Mm -hmm. Right? So with that partner, absolutely having a code word and you know, not making it so obvious. It could be things like, um, oh, you know what? Uh, I think I want spaghetti tonight. That's our code phrase for it's time to get let's the kids get and let's yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, so that you know, it's not activating for the people that we might be around where it seems obvious. Um, but our partner knows exactly what it is that we need. Yeah. I, I think too the talking about it beforehand because usually mm -hmm. somebody has a person who's a trigger in their life in their mm -hmm. family or extended family and it's like you can allow one person to really truly ruin your holiday and yeah. and that's like giving somebody else your power, right? Mm -hmm. So I think t the talking about is key so you've kind of already dealt with it yeah. before it happens so when it does happen you can manage it, right? Yeah, and then with the plan you know that there's a way that you can get out of the situation because you have someone with you and you know it's not always our partner with us, sometimes it's a friend but it's knowing that you have a way out if you need it yes. and then I think setting healthy expectations as well as good boundaries so mm -hmm. saying no when we mean no instead of saying yes when we mean no Ooh, is really I'm important so guilty of that. yeah a yes person and yes. realizing yeah. we can't do everything at the holidays yeah. right we're usually pulled in a hundred different directions and sometimes we're gonna have to say this is how much I can do and this is this is my limit and that's okay I tell people be the person to bring the buns because the buns don't have to make it to the party. Or the wine. Ooh. Oh, right? the wine does have to make it to the party. The wine does have to make it to the party. Excuse for that. Then you're like, shame. There's no party. There's no party. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you guys, thank you so yes, much for chatting with us. So, the, you know, the key messaging is here is have sex before you go to your Christmas gatherings with your family and avoid that trigger person. Talk about them before. All right. Thank oh you my gosh. so much, ladies. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And welcome back. So Christmas means that we have the kids home for two weeks. Yay! Okay. <laughs> no, it is yay though. We it all is totally like, yay. We love having the kids home, but let's be honest, we need to keep them busy so we can keep our sanity, right? Like yes. they need activities. So that is why we have our next guest here to talking with us. We have Cassie Craigsman here from Curiosity Box. Thank you for joining, for us, joining us today. Thank you. Yes. So we're talking crafts here, people. Yes. Okay. So tell, share with us some great activities that you have here. So I think one of the main things that my kids and I love doing is playing with Play-Doh. So making Play-Doh, I've been um, testing different recipes and the one that I brought today was actually gingerbread men. Um, Play-Doh recipe that you can make. It's very easy. I'll have a link on my blog so that you can um, find out how to make it. But the fun thing with Play-Doh that people don't think about is actually getting um, a cookie, cookie, um, sorry, a muffin tray yeah. and putting little parts and pieces in it. So with the gingerbread men, getting some buttons, some pom-poms, some straws, oh, nice. some paper clips, and put them in the little trays because everybody yeah. likes little trays. Yeah. And they can build little gingerbread, put the oh. googly eyes. And it like keeps it tidy. Little... Yes. I like that part of it. it because... And it keeps it clean. <laughs> yeah, it keeps it clean. <laughs> That. But like, yes. you know, Play-Doh, if you have a baby too that's starting to crawl, Play-Doh can get all over the floor. So that's right. a really good yeah. idea. Yeah, and this is a great recipe because it's it's not, um, it doesn't fall apart into little pieces and okay. stuff. So I'm not going to lie, recipe. I tried to make Play-Doh for my daughter's birthday as a giveaway and I had to call every mom and be like, don't open it. It literally like turned into, I don't know what it turned into. That's so go to the crafty one. <laughs> right. So yeah, 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 this is a great little gift idea too that you could have with the little gingerbread man cookie cutter and the little jar that you can make. Cute the kids, yes. my boys and I made these. And then my son's actually giving the gingerbread man Play-Doh to his little class and he's going to do little oh, tags. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so instead of like food at Christmas time, yeah. we're yeah. going to make these for the kids. I like so. these too. Yeah, so these little ornaments are the salto ornaments. And so the little um, keepsake ornaments for the kids. So they put the little handprints. So this is my son Carson when he was uh, two. So cute, such good memory. And then this right? is Lucas. So you can do the glitter or the snowman. I love pulling those kind of things out every year. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, you've grown so much. So let's be honest though, doing these, these crafts, if you're not into crafts, yes. can kind of require some patience. So what are your tips on being patient when you're helping the kids do these activities. And wine is not the one for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a real one. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the key is, is making sure that you come up with good adhesives. So glue, everybody hates glue when they're crafting. So there's things out there like glue dots and um, a lot of people haven't heard of glue dots and sticky tabs. So finding alternative adhesives so that your kids aren't pouring glue all, all over, over the place. Table. Yeah. Yes, and then um, placemats and tablecloths yeah. and the aprons. You can get great little aprons for them so that they're not getting all over their clothes and it's something you can eat 
easily throw in the wash. Great tip. Yeah, and then you have it. this fantastic box. Yeah, here. tell okay, us about so the what curiosity is this box? box. Yeah, this is this is your signature this trademark. Is. So, Curiosity Box was my business that I started almost three years ago. And inside, um, these boxes actually come to the child's door in their name. And inside, they get crafts, activities, games, so that they can have hours of creative fun. Right? Yeah. How awesome is that? Right? To give this box at 9 a.m. Yes, or right? 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. Whatever. Well, yeah. I was saying this because I, I set up, like, I bought this thing to put crafts in, and I don't know what to do with it. Like, I have all these things that my kids are pulling everywhere, and we don't actually make any successful crafts with it. Yes. So I like this because it's giving moms ideas. It's already ready to lay out for them. Correct. Yeah, so it comes in the box. Everything's in there ready to go. You've got full instructions on how to do the crafts, step-by-step -step instructions. Baller, yeah. They come themed so that, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that you can get the theme. <laughs> <laughs> you can either choose a three theme or you can get a subscription. So each month a new box comes to the child's door in their name. The curious part is they don't know what's inside, so they oh, get to open so it up. So um, it's wrapped nicely in tissue paper, and they get to open it up. And then moms actually don't have to worry about anything. All your pieces in there, your pictures, that's and it's thing. relatively mess-free, guys. That's so, so amazing. <laughs> okay, and you're you're a mom, so I am a mom. You, and you're a mompreneur. Why did you start this business? So I started it actually when my son was um, two and a half, and I had a six-month-old because to pack two little kids up in the middle of winter and to get them to the dollar store or Michaels or, or anywhere. Walmart anywhere. <laughs> sorry, and. Uh, and just get those crafts, come up with the ideas, go on Pinterest. I wanted a box. I wanted something to come to my son's door and yeah. have that box ready to go on hand. And there was nothing like it. So that's fantastic. It. Yeah. So. Thank you so much. And all you moms this is great. here today, you do not even have to worry about writing her information down because you're all going home with a gift card from her for three Yay. month subscription. Oh. Yes. A discount. Coupon card. Yeah. yeah a coupon card. Thank you. Yeah. Coupon. <laughs> You want to three months subscription, and That's you fantastic. also can find all the information in your gift bags. But online, they can go to if anybody's yes. watching on TV, they can go to curiositybox.ca. Yes. Amazing! Yes. Thank yes. you so much for being with us today, Thanks for Cassie. This is Thank great. You. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back with our mom panel. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, so if you watch our show, you know that we love a good mom panel. We, we love, love talking to moms. Yeah, we love talking to moms. We like talking about their lives and how they're dealing and, you know. So well, I think that that's the thing, though, is that we want to know how they're dealing because, in reality, moms need to share that. We do. We need to share our struggles, our the good stuff, the hard stuff, the bad stuff, right, to kind of feel normal and feel like we're not alone in this. Yes. So today's mom panel, we're very excited to introduce. We have Adele Newton, and she is a radio host from Chime FM. You must listen Yay. to her all the time. Hi. And then we have a YouTube sensation mom, Amanda Muse. Yay. So what do you want to ask these ladies today? OK, so we <laughs> talked about sex and family when we kicked off the show. Let's, let's just go back there. <laughs> Right? Let's, all right, let's do it. Well, let's go to the, the fact of how do you, like, what's your tips or how do you stay sane over the holidays with your husband? I stay at my girlfriend's house a lot. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always tired. No. Are, yeah, you're always <laughs> asleep. Are you always asleep when he calls into I always have a headache. No. Yeah. It's like, honey, I get up so early for work, right? Like, yeah. And I've got laundry to do. Yeah. No, honestly, I drink a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, everyone has their coping methods, right? So I think it's a little bit of like spontaneity kind yeah, of works yes. for me because I, you know, I get a lot of questions because I'm a co-sleeper and I was breastfeeding for a long time and it's like, it doesn't have to be after, you know, after bedtime. It's like you just have fun any time of day if it's working. And I, I agree school, with that. Yeah. yeah, that's her, that's her role. Well, it's yeah. never a bedtime. That, no, no. I'm done at eight. Like I'm too if, tired. If it was then, it'd never happen. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a home renovation mode right now, so I usually time it around things I need for the house. Right. Oh. <laughs> or do you need a new couch? Yeah. Or, yeah. You've got all the tips in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I we're supposed to be honest, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. is real talk. Okay, right? but what about family dynamic? If you've got like a relative or, you know, some in law that oh, yeah. you're not, you know, particularly fond of or you struggle being around, how do you deal with that at Christmas? I think uh, for me, I have family kind of spread out. Yeah. And so it's all about who do we make time for? Who are we going to see? How do we please everybody? Mm -hmm. And I'm sort of realizing that we're at this phase of life where it's like, we're thinking more about our inner circle, this yeah. little bubble right now. And, you know, I have, I have my brother just had a baby and they can't travel. And so, yeah, we're sort of just going, okay, you know what it is? Just Christmas? I hate to say it like that, but look, I'll see you in the new what? year. I know, I know. But I think <laughs> it might be a point right now. Here. <laughs> <laughs> we lived overseas, and so I'm sort of working my way back into like, right, you're supposed to make this a priority and you're supposed to see everybody at the holidays. And so mm -hmm. that's something we're, we're trying to figure out. Right. Uh, for us, I, I can honestly say I don't have any issues with any of my family. I was going to say, I follow you on social media. You love everyone in your yeah, family. Yeah, I do <laughs> because I've accepted them. 
for who they, they are. For who they are. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a tip, though, right yeah. there. I yeah. drink a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like those, that, those are two really important points. Like, yeah. acceptance <laughs> is huge. It and drinking's fun. No, yeah. it's true. So, I think I'm at a point in stage in my life where um, I can look at my family members and I can say, you know what? It is what it is. You're and not going to change that anymore. No, and at the end of the day, I want you around because when you're no longer around, yeah. you'll miss them. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to make us cry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really she can't true. Keep saying, we're going. It's really <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, you are. Right. That is really true. Okay, let's talk about working because you're both working moms. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. how do you find? And I, get, I hate the word balance because we all organize chaos. Yeah, like how do, how do you juggle it all? Yeah. Working mom, you know, kids, work, yeah. careers. What are your I, tips? Well, there? we were just talking about sleep before, and I feel like what sleep. Is that? I'm trying to prioritize it, but right now it's not the top priority. So I do a lot of work late into the night, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but I notice like if my kids start acting out, uh, we have one of them in SK and sometimes we skip school and go hang out and we do other things. Oh, okay. um, because mm -hmm. that works for our family. I know that doesn't work for everybody. But it's, it's sort of like when something looks like it needs attention, I stop what I'm doing, I stop my work and I focus on that. Because uh, yes, I do work from home, but I'm a mom first. Right. And I often forget that when I tell people yeah. that I'm, I work from home. So it's something I try to prioritize. Right. Yeah. And Adele? Uh, I that? don't sleep. Yeah. As you guys know, You're I get up. You're an early riser. Yeah, I get up really early for the show. And I, I kind of think I'll sleep when I'm dead and I do the best that I can. I don't, I'm not always good at it. And sleep deprivation can cause a lot of different issues in a lot of different areas in life, yeah. which is again why I drink a lot. <laughs> but A good but, concealer and a good bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. Right? And don't forget the coffee. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's really, one drink's probably like enough for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to balance everything. Yeah. And I don't do it well. Um, and I sometimes just get by day to day, but I do know that I'm trying. I think yeah. that that's right there. Like you're trying and maybe you don't do it well, but you're you're doing good enough. Like you're doing a good job. You're doing, a, you know what I mean? And, and accepting that and not being hard on yourself. Yeah, and is we've important. been talking about this a lot. There is no perfect mom. No. There is oh, no yeah. perfect recipe to being yeah. the best and mom. It's like your best, oh, right? For we sure. were just talking about comparison and how it's yeah. like the thief of joy and the yeah. thief of success. And sometimes you, yeah. as much as I create uh, life online, I sometimes have to pull back from what I watch so that I go, yeah, I am doing the best that I can. I'm yeah. good enough, right? And you know what? You bring up a really good point, too. It's sort of giving yourself a pat on the back every now and again. Yeah. But I think what's really important, and again, this is, you know, as I get older, I learn this, the ability to say no. Mm -hmm. um, I've been career-driven my whole entire life, and I think now I'm at a point where I'm okay to say, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to do that. And mm -hmm. if someone else is going to do that, that's okay. And I want them to do it, and I want them to do it really well. Yeah. But I can't do it all right. because exactly. I'm going to end up drinking more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is true. When you have kids, you can't say yes to everything, and you yeah. can't do no, it all. It's just yeah. not possible. Something's got to slide, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's go career-driven, all of that. When you became a mom, what was the shocker for both of you guys? Oh dear. I feel like loaded I was, question there. <laughs> yeah, what shocked you the most? I think yeah. what shocked me the most is how much I felt like I was looking in at myself. I didn't recognize myself physically. I was overseas. I was away from my family. I didn't have my tribe. And that's really what, you know, pushed yeah. me towards creating my YouTube channel was to connect with other women in this phase of life. And so I feel like when I see that new mom and they let that glazed look, I'm like, girl, come here. Like, yeah. let's talk. Let's talk it over. I didn't have the birth I wanted. I, you know, there was all those things. And it took me a year to look like myself again. I think that was what shocked me the most is how much I was like, wow, I Who just, I? how different you feel when you look in the mirror and you don't recognize yourself. And how empowering though when it comes full circle, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I looked a lot like, uh, you know, the blueberry, the girl who <laughs> was like chewing gum on Willy Wonka in the oh, chocolate yeah. factory and she turned into the blueberry. Yeah. That is exactly what I looked like when I was pregnant. I mean, they rolled me places. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think Ooh. the physical part of it was hard to deal with for me. Um, and, and I didn't bounce back very quick and, and my son's nine now. So I think that was, was, and I also have a regret if I can be honest with you. I didn't take a full year for mat leave. Mm. I didn't either for my son. Yeah, I, I didn't. Did. And I look back now and I think, oh my gosh, I was the hottest blueberry on the planet <laughs> and I should have took that right? year. Yeah. Right? We were so hard on ourselves. So yeah. hard so on hard ourselves. On ourselves. We need to not be so hard and on ourselves. other women are hard on other women. As much as we are in a room full of women that yeah. are incredible right now and very supportive, right? You know, 
sometimes they go, she uses way too many filters on that Instagram photo. <laughs> yeah. And we have to get away from that. I yeah. so agree with you. And I was saying to Kelly in the washroom earlier, like all the women here have su been supporting us since day one of our yeah. show. So we're so blessed to have yeah. you guys all here. Because like, like, all of you have been supporting us. And we're so thankful for that. And it's so true. Like we really need to like really honestly support each other, not just surface support each other. Totally. It's and there so is important. a difference. There and you is. can see it. And, and it becomes more apparent with age too, right? Yeah. Because yes. you're, as I call it, <laughs> your BS meter. <laughs> Go. You, you know it. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you totally. want me to start sniffing yeah. things out? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, it happens. And it's that's the great thing also, too, about being a woman, yeah. our intuition and our yes. ability to sniff you out if you're lying. Yes. Yeah. Well, goodness, I, think that, I think that's a really good point there. I, mean, I know when I turned 30, it was like I accepted who I was at that point. And I, I say that to people. I another number, but it gets okay. better. <laughs> it gets better. I'm a little bit older, but trust me, me, it gets but, better. But I it think gets that better. was a beautiful moment, right? When you jumped into that time, you had your kids, like you had to accept who you were and then know that maybe not everybody fits in your life anymore. Yeah, and you know, absolutely. close those doors sometimes if they're poison to you. And if they are negative energy vampires, as I call yep. them, mm -hmm. in your life, right? Forget them and leave them. Yeah. But you never know, though. Don't dismiss them because you never know. They just may need some time. Help. They yeah. Or they may need time Help. to come to the same aha moment yeah. that you have come yeah, to. Yeah, you right? need the door unlocked. Yeah. It's just yes. you're not passing through, you know, to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Gosh, right. I think I sounded smart I, there for a second. What's happening? That's very good, valuable information that <laughs> no, you ladies totally have shared is. with us. When you're thinking about, you know, the next five years, let's go there. Oh, okay. yeah. wow. Yeah. What are some things that you question. think that you put in, in front of you now that you want to achieve for yourself as a mom, as, as not just a mom, as like a female? Because you've even said your career, set, like you kind of shifted, right, now being a mom. Oh, I, for for sure. me, it's my career. Um, yeah. You know, it's something, it's funny, like a year ago, I remember telling my my people, my YouTube family, like, I think I'm going to quit because it wasn't working I remember out. you saying yeah. that. And it was overwhelming. I was also in the middle of a home renovation, so that might have been, I might yeah. have been drinking enough is really what it's coming down to. <laughs> but, um, and I, and Come I, over. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. Um, but it's really like, I want, you know, my babies are getting older, my youngest is two and a half, and I want to be as involved as I am right now. But as they get older, they're going to need me a little less, and I'd love to see me working more and just getting really like as much as I can into it because there's so much I want to do right now there are just not enough hours in the day yes yeah, so. so you're definitely in an upswing I'd say for sure Thank in you. your career Thank I mean you. you both are but I've seen just your YouTube stuff and mm. anyway okay well let's talk about makeup Mm. Because oh, you clearly are both stunning ladies and you know how to do your makeup. Well, okay. that's because your makeup people well, did my makeup. <laughs> well, let's be honest and here. And we're actually going to bring on our two moms in just a minute. But we just quickly want to know what's your makeup routine really quick. How do you do your makeup? Uh, how do I do makeup? I, I, I watch a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube. Okay. So I have okay. some friends that create and they, they teach you things. And every it's not like you're going to learn everything overnight. But just take little tips here and there. Yeah. Recently, yeah. it's been how to apply fake eyelashes, and I got it. Yeah, like there, I, she doesn't have that's that. what you I did. That is why yeah. we had to yeah. bring our moms. <laughs> yeah. We're going to bring our ladies out here if you want to come on out. Yeah, come on and out. Our two moms can come on out as well. We have right. two chicks with some lipstick. Val and we have Lori. Val and Lori. Mm -hmm. And we have Kate and Christine, yes. our moms who volunteered to have their five-minute face on. They look gorgeous. So give us uh, like one or two tips on the five minute face, which they still look natural, but they look beautiful, they look yeah, radiant. Yeah, they do look natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. So I think um, the kind of the concept be behind a five minute face is to um, conceal and enhance. So even out the skin tone, have a little bit of brightness by like blush or bronzer, whatever you're comfortable with. and. Um, it's all about knowing what products to use and where to put them. So what areas to highlight and what areas to disguise. So we just figured that one out. With yeah. You guys. yeah. <laughs> so we really, we just evened out their skin tone. We added a little bit more color. We, we filled in their brows, put some mascara, lined their, lined their lips or put lip gloss on. And that's all it really takes. Eyebrows, well, eyebrows are everything. Eyebrows, eyebrows are great. Eyebrows are great. Yes. 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 Well, you did an amazing job as always. Thank, thank you, thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being willing participants. They wrote a blog. Thank it's you. on our site. So if you go to Vanessa Mills, they have the five minute face on there. If you guys want any tips, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Can I just say that you guys are doing a fantastic oh, job? Thank no, you. you really, really are, and oh, you're, you're you. a great role model for women. Well, thank so are you. you. Uh, it's no, all you. Are. Are. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Thank oh you my all. gosh! Here's to the moms. Here's, <laughs> to, the, here's to all you guys for coming and joining us today. We're yes. so appreciative that you're here. Thank you so much. Yes. And we really need to thank our sponsors yes. as well because we have amazing sponsors here. We have Sobies, Glamagals. Uh, we have Pure and Simple, Tim we have Tim Hortons, Safety First, Little Safety Tikes. First, Little Tikes, Volvo Cars of Canada. We have fantastic partners. Yeah. So Everyone's going home with a 
Sobeys gingerbread cookie for gingerbread awesome. house yes, for their kids. kids and some yes. gift bags from all of our sponsors or stuff in there and there's some great door prizes so thank you so much everybody and happy holidays, happy holidays.